Hey YouTube and welcome to episode 23 of my Mass Effect Let's Play. In the last episode, we talked to, um, Tally. And we did a bit of, uh, inventory stuff. I'm gonna do a little bit more of that, and then I'm gonna talk to, uh, Garrus and maybe Rex, depending on how much stuff, how much, uh, how Looking long they for take. supplies? Because I don't remember. I don't think they're as long as the other two, though. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. First, I'm just gonna sell everything. Except for that, yes, that meeting my armor, too. Wow, that made me so much money. Thank God. Hello, Garrus. Commander, nice work out there. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always... That's not how a spe That's not how individual Spectres are like. That's what they can be like. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly not that we've used point. much of them. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. See, protocol that's and procedure is a bit different, but they're in place to... Well, personally, I'm on the Paragon side, just so you know. But I like playing at Renegade every once in a while. So you just Anyways, quit because you didn't um, like the way they do things? Protocol and procedure are there There's for a reason, that. so people don't get it hurt. It start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. c sex handling of Saren was typical. What did they do wrong with Saren? I mean, there wasn't really that much evidence to find. I mean, what we found barely counts. It's not the end of the world. You'll have tougher decisions soon enough. Yeah, I suppose that was right. okay. Voice acting. Either way, like I, I've mentioned this before, this. but it seems and to me that all the squads have better shoulder, squad mates have better voice acting than the main character does. It, it's the script, actually, not necessarily the voice acting. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Uh, Garrus is really Thank interesting, because you, you can basically influence him to... Wow, that was short. You can basically influence him to be more, uh, Paragon or more Renegade. Shepard, what can I do for Which you? is really interesting. What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. They're probably well, the second longest lived race. The Turians almost and wiped a, out our entire a race. centuries old Krogan is something fun. scary. Because they've almost inevitably gone through so much fight. We tried the same with us. Oh, you but idiot. We fought them off. So many fights. It's not and the same. Just insane things. It seems similar enough to me. Okay, so this is just Shepard being an with a idiot. Mutation, an infection that makes only a few in a thousand children Genophage. survive birth. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species. I suppose it isn't all the same. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I was an I idiot. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance wow, doesn't that sounded upset awfully me, upset. Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us. I'm pretty sure Bioware came up with that us. term, but it sounds right. But I guess that's probably just because I've heard it so much. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. He actually sounded like he cared and was out. sad about it. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. How does a race we of mercenaries re-establish their race? So we leave. It's really hard to work. Hire ourselves hard to out. do. Well, they're a race of and warriors, of but that back. tends to manifest itself as them becoming mercenaries because there's not really anything else for them to do. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Solarians if you want details. I don't have any they on my ship. It. I'll do that in Mass Effect 2. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that. I want to know how it can um, stop Every people from infected. conceiving Everyone. and make children and no one's stillborn. To find a cure. That doesn't make sense to me. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? <laughs> 
When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? They exist, they're just not common. You ask a Krogan. Would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. Fighting's just, just in their nature. We are, Shepard. I can't change that. Like he Nobody just said. Can. Anyways, that's it for Rex. So long, Rex. So that was short, but Shepherd. gave us a nice bit of details from both of them. Now let's see how long Commander, Ashley takes. You have a minute to talk. Is this duty related, Chief? No, sir. Well, maybe. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. I this is the most Presley. advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. He was a little racist. I think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Well, she's starting Engines, to speak her sensors, mind now, huh? weapons. I'm not going to lock them in the sleeper pods for the whole trip, Williams. I'd be more comfortable if they didn't have access to engineering. How do you not have access to the CIC? We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without Then we would be screwed because we would as have As noble two as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. How did she go from um, Rex and Garrus to council? <laughs> the council's had a grudge against us since the first contact war. I don't think it's a grudge. I think it's... Look... If you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. So it's like spe speciesism? You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. We'll learn about that These later. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Oh, it doesn't background. sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, sir. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. ZG, that just sounds weird. I'm used to like a zero grab or something. Guess you make a habit of second guessing your superiors. Oh, I what? No, sir. What? All right, I can see where your concerns. Where are did that from come from? Lines. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens. Where? Where? Not. Where? It won't be a problem. Okay, I'm confused. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last? Maybe mission? it isn't as easy to do the sure romance options Dr. Story, on accident as I thought. They've been pretty obvious family, so far. Right? Not everyone has a happy family life. No, I guess not. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. We'll talk so later, we'll I missed one of the uh, conversation it, options. Sir. Not a big deal. Mm, who are we gonna go talk to now? How about we go talk to Joker? Talking to lots of people today, today, huh? I guess we will get to do something else. But let's go talk to Joker, cause Joker's awesome. Who haven't I talked to? Liara, I think she's the only one. And talk to Chakwas. After I talk to Joker. And then I'll probably go somewhere, and that'll be sometime. Whoop! I see a codex. If I still have time after Joker, I think I'm gonna explain the codex a bit. Just show it to you guys, cause it's pretty cool. I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Saving my boots from burning lava is part of your job, Joker. We don't give medals to soldiers for doing their jobs. That figures. Just get me a nice card and a cake. No coconut, though. I hate that. Card. I don't remember that so, article. So, Commander, why don't you tell me uh, what you're article. really here? Line. 
How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they I said love Joker, she'd be? Though. She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Yeah, he's, I like to know he's my crew. arrogant, but and if I ask him a few questions, he's good at it, so who cares? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same didn't thing I told you? the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the like best I damn said, helmsman arrogant. in the Alliance fleet. Like I said, arrogant. touchy. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, I've got Vrolix syndrome. Brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition. Condition commander. is a much better word than Normandy disease. In my hands, because I'm, I'm like pretty sure disease is inherently Just don't ask contagious. me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. <laughs> I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Oh, what he lied. Oh my gosh. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, hmm, and it stuck. I need to know more about this Vrolix syndrome but if yet, I'm putting my shit joke. in your hands. So this is weird. Yeah, Apparently he was very different in flight it's school. An extremely of course, rare it's a very, uh, Nobody knows right exactly kind of what humor. Self-deprecating. It's treatable, but uh, there's sarcastic, no cure. Sarcastic, that kind of thing. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. I'm sure going ago, through the birth canal wasn't too pleasant either. Year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. Let's see those lines. I'm not gonna ask that. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up fleets. I think Arcturus fleets. is another Spend all that time around system. Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. No, oh, I, I have think to go. he's gonna tell all me right, more later. You. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the Codex. This has been a boring week, I know. But, here's the Codex. Just wanna show it to you guys, I don't think I have before. But this is huge. I mean, okay, let's not look at this. Personal history summary, this is different depending on what you picked at the beginning. There's stuff here for every single council race. The council, council race. Most of those are in the primary though. You got some more stuff. Lots of stuff here. God, these things are annoying. Hoppers, these are the things that jump around, I think. Eh, yeah. Those are annoying. But there is a ton of background information here. A lot of it you can get just by... Uh, yeah, here's some on the Terra Firma party. They're basically the racist. Uh, originally, they were more idealist, like Ashley was talking about, but we don't actually know that much about them. I wouldn't be surprised if there was more about the Mass Effect 3. But there is a ton of information here about everything from their technology to their politics to the history. And the primary over here is actually voiced totally and completely. The were the if you can hear. In the early 20s. Batarians. I'm surprised those are even on there. But there is a lot of stuff to go through here. And that's a lot of the reason why I'm so why I like Mass Effect so much. They have fleshed uh, the world out in this game more so than a lot of people would in 3 or 4. Uh, Bioware is really good at that. Um, a lot of people say their best, the best part is their writing, which is, it's good. I don't they still haven't found a way to make the uh, protagonist sound decent. And protagonist always sounds like a freaking RPG stereotype walking around asking questions like, "How are you doing? Do you ha do you need any do you have any problems? What was their history like?" blah 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 blah. But the other guys are actually creative, interesting. But all of that comes more out of the history of the world than out of the actual writing itself, which is why like Bioware and Mass Effect in particular so much. 
Anyways, that's, that seems like a nice stopping point to me. And tomorrow we'll talk to some more guys and then probably go off and save some people or something like that. Anyways, thanks for watching episode 23 and I'll see you tomorrow as soon as I finish saving. Goodbye.